What's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back. Look who we have back there. We have Waffles. He's uh he's a little hard to film, you see him? Waffles. Hi baby boy. Waffles. He gets scared so easy, guys. But that's him. He is a golden British short hair. He has like a really round face and big cheeks. <laughs> oh man, I'm so mean. I, I still laugh at him when I see him. Here's Pancake. Pancake. What are you meowing for? Why are you meowing? So, tomorrow's my birthday, guys. So, I think for my birthday, whoops. I think for my birthday, uh, we already talked about it. Um, we're going to, we're going to do um, Sinigang because I love Sinigang and I um, think for Filipinos on your birthday, you have to have pancit because it signifies a long life. Am I wrong or am I right? So. I want a long life, so we're gonna do pancit. We're gonna do mixed bihon and canton together. So it should be good, guys. I think Angelique's home. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What's up, baby? How's work? It's all right. Yeah? Not too busy yet. Go take off your scrub so I can hug you. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. So I'm not. I'm not just saying that for the vlog. Whoa. I want a hug and a kiss, my baby. This is my beautiful wife right here. Angelique's gonna change. So as you guys can see, look, you see Waffles get so scared. Look at him. I just walked by him. Look, watch him. He's gonna get scared. He runs away. I don't know why he does that. And I try to, I try to be friendly to him and like um, give him treats and food so then he'll like feel comfortable and um, come to me all the time. But um, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe he was like traumatized where like we got him from. Like, because I don't know. I've never had a cat like that where they're like super, super scared. Like it reminds me of like a wild feral cat outside. I don't know. Look at them now. Pancake. Hi, baby. Pancake. Why are you meowing? Look at their toy. This is what we got them for Christmas. We got them this toy. Let's see if they come and play with it. <laughs> Waffles likes that toy better than Pancake. How huh, Pancake? Angelique, Angelique's got her is that the shirt that I gave you in Dubai? Yeah. Model it for me, just give me a spin. Give me a spin. <laughs> uh, so that is <laughs> shirt. Um, I'm hungry. I, I think after the first time we met, we were like talking about, like, cause we missed each other a lot and stuff. And we were talking about like, um, how like maybe I could give her something that will make her remember me or Whatever, so I gave her a shirt, and I think I put my cologne on it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put my cologne on it, and that's the shirt that I gave her we, uh, the second time we met in Thailand, and she took it home and she was wearing it and stuff. Good pancake. Yeah. Good pancake. She's like, as she gets older, she's becoming more loving, guys. <laughs> it's her. She's such a nice cat now. She's like so calm, and she wants to like lay with us all the time. Yeah, you miss mommy. Pancake. You miss mommy. Oh yes. <laughs> she talks a lot. Yesterday, I was editing some vlogs, 
and I had to make an emergency trip to the store to get a new hard drive. So I got this new solid state drive, Samsung T7, not sponsored video. We're gonna give that one a, a test. This is my old one because this one's at one terabyte. This is two terabytes. I filled up the one terabyte already. That's a lot. If you imagine a ter like a terabyte, most people's computers are probably, laptops are probably like a terabyte, between a terabyte and um, 500 gigs. Um, I filled that thing up already, man. It, it, it's uh, a lot of data, a lot of video. My God, guys. Look at my hair, guys. I need a haircut. Waffles. Oh, you see, he gets scared, guys. Yeah. I just barely got on the floor right now, and he thinks like, I'm gonna attack him or something. <laughs> Let's see if we, we could get a close-up of him playing. Oh, pancakes up there. She's thinking about attacking at first. I think Waffles not interested. Hi, oh, Waffles. What's wrong with you? All right, guys. Guess what we're gonna have for dinner? All my Filipinos out there, what you guys know about that century tuna? <laughs> Would you say like uh, in Philippines, century tuna is pretty, pop pretty popular for like ulam? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Angelique introduced me to this right here. So you know, sometimes we don't always eat fancy. You know, sometimes we just have like things that we have inside the house that are easy to cook. You know what we should get? What? Sardines. Sardines. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those sardines are pretty good. I like those. Um, but yeah, these, the, the century tuna is really good. Um, they have them in different flavors. My favorite actually is the affritata one. Angelique likes this uh, hot and spicy one, which is really good too. But the affritata one and the adobo flavor of century tuna is the, my favorite. Um, each can is $2. They're a lot more expensive than they are in, well, would you say they're like, how much would you say in the Philippines? That's $2 is, is um, 100 Actually, pesos? I don't, know. I don't know anymore because um, I haven't been to yeah. Philippines for so long. So $2 is what, 100 pesos? So 100 pesos per can. Yeah, so we're gonna make that. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute uh, some potatoes, um, onions. We're gonna use the nor uh, soy sauce, put a little pepper and maybe splash some fish sauce inside there. Mm. Yeah, so it'll be Perfect. really good. We're gonna have that with our canin guys. Tell them it's bajau. Bajau, what's that? Bajau? Bajau. Bajau? Bajau. What's bajau? Leftover rice. Oh, it's bajau. It's leftover rice, guys. It's our Japanese rice from when we had our curry. So, um, <clears throat> it's going to be so delicious. Cause I love century tuna. Oh look guys, look at our cats. Look at Waffles right there. He's um, he's sitting right there drinking water. That's his water fountain. You see it? It's a little water fountain. All right, guys. So we got the potatoes, onions. Everything's all sautéed. Now we're gonna add some of our seasonings in there. So I got this nor soy sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of patis. And then I'm gonna add black pepper because I love black pepper. Should I make it more spicy, babe, or no? I really love black pepper, guys. It's so good. And that's it. That's your century tuna right there. Very simple Filipino ulam. All you need is rice and a big appetite. So the potatoes, it like, it makes the ulam last longer because the flavor from the tuna and everything go inside the potatoes and these potatoes are really good. So we'll turn on the heat and let that cook a little bit longer till the potatoes get really soft and we are all done guys. So 
look. Here you go. <laughs> I'm this is food. this is lazy food right here. Uh, for Mexicans, this would be like <laughs> this would be like the equivalent of uh, scrambled eigs and weenies. <laughs> hot dogs. Mm. Scrambled eggs and hot dogs. When I was a little kid, that was like the go-to meal. Mm. Having um, hot, my dad, my mom used to slice up little hot dogs, mm -hmm. and um, she would scramble eggs with the hot dogs, mm -hmm. and like put them in a burrito with ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> You don't eat rice like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, huh? No. No. That's the well, I mean, usually rice is always in dinner time. So Angelique has been working with um, with patients, with COVID patients, mm -hmm. at the at her at her um, workplace. And how many people did you say died already? With that? Four. Four. Oh my god, that's so sad. No, guys. five. Five? Since January 20, start of the year. Mm. Since we got sick now, Angelique takes all kinds of precautions. She has, well, first off, she has her PP, so they wear a mask over there, face shield, they have gloves, and then um, she's always washing her hands. And then also, I bought hand sanitizer, so there's hand sanitizers inside the truck. So when she drives home, she uses hand sanitizer when she comes home. <clears throat> Since she's a frontline worker, she's going to be vaccinated on the on the twenty second. Twenty six. Twenty six. How about you? I don't know. I signed up on the on the health department website. Um, Is it free though? Yeah, it's free if you have insurance. Okay. Yeah. So our local county, the health department has like a website where you can um, express willingness to receive the vaccine. So I signed up on that and hopefully as soon as it's available, I'll get a, I don't know, email or something. I don't know. Do they mention what vaccine you're getting like from Moderna, Pfizer, no? I don't know. Or the other one from China. Oh, the Sinovac one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that Chinese vaccine, I hear it's pretty crazy. Mm. It's like supposedly, according to some tests, they're saying it was only like 50% effective. Mm. That's freaking scary. And it has like 70 something side effects. Century tuna, the hot and spicy one's pretty, it's pretty spicy. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's not like super, super spicy, but you could definitely taste the spice inside of it. It's pretty good. Oh, I forgot, guys. I'm sorry. Here. You guys can have a bite. <clears throat> There's your bite of century tuna. And some rice. Some bajo or... Bajau. Bajau. Bajau rice. It's so good. What are we saying bajo? Sometimes I think old rice is better. Mm -hmm. Like day old rice. I think it tastes better. Like, um, uh, it's more chewy, especially the, the Japanese one. I like that one a lot. Angelique's doing something a little funny right here. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you doing over here, baby? <laughs> Accounting. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what she, you know what she does? It's actually pretty good that she does that because a lot, more, maybe more people should do that. Uh, she always, when she gets on her payday, she always calculates all her hours to yes, make sure they pay her correctly. I work for that, you know, hour, so I should get paid. Yeah. So she's she's she wants to be a personal accountant. So <laughs> if anybody if anybody wants to hire her as a personal accountant, no. I'll put her contact information down below in the description. No, I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> <coughs> all right, guys. So that was a century tuna for you. That's one of my favorite meals. Even though it's simple and cheap and uh, it's delicious, guys. It's so good. So we're gonna hang out, uh, relax and rest, get some more rest and hydrate. 
All right, guys, so hope you enjoyed our century tuna. It's one of my favorite meals, even though it's super simple and uh, not too fancy. So it's nice seeing you guys again, and we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Okay, guys, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it's Ray's birthday tomorrow. And we'll see you guys next time. We love you. Bye-bye. Driving me insane, hello